Hello friends. Today I want to show you a, a knitting bowl that I've made. Well, I don't know if you could actually call it a knitting bowl. Maybe it could be called a knitting sleeve. But uh, a friend of mine uh, gave me the idea and I've gone with it and made it a little uh, different than what he, d he had done. Anyway, uh, as you can see in this one here, that's facing towards you, there's a little slot here where you bring your yarn out uh, if you're knitting. And uh, instead of a bowl, you just have this uh, half circle that maybe would fit the uh, a skein a little, a little better than an actual lathe round bowl, which is quite common for knitting bowls. And uh, knitting uh, skeins, you often take the uh, uh, yarn out of the center of the skein, which will line up with this end and it'll just pull out easily. And I guess if you wanted to use the outside, it may just uh, roll in here and you could uh, bring your yarn out this side too. So uh, these are for my daughter, so we'll be... Uh, I'll be able to see how, how well it works, but right now uh, I haven't seen anybody use one of these. So anyway, I'll just take this apart so you can see the, the parts here. Not that that's... Uh, all it is is several dowels, and uh, you make the dowels yourself, and then uh, two ends. So these ends are made... Uh, on the lathe, of course, with a groove cut out, and uh, you almost have to make uh, a set of ends for, like this end would maybe line up with the end over here, part of that one, because uh, when you lay the uh, a pipe, you may get the ends a little uh, different on each end, so you fit uh, you fit it to the end that it's going to work on there. So this is similar. You start out with a with a lathing a, a cylinder and then slicing it in half. So once you've got two of these, you might as well continue on and make uh, two complete projects because you're going to have to make a a circle uh, that fits the thickness of one end. And uh, then it's just a matter of a couple more pieces and you've got two complete bowls. And then these should be marked. I've made a mark here. Uh, and then a mark on inside here. So I know which end it goes. If I put it the other way, it, uh, it doesn't quite fit as good. So I'll pop those in there. Once you know which end it is. And uh, a couple dowels. And uh, then uh, there we go. It's all together. And of course, I uh, you could flatten this off here, and flatten this off at the bottom here, so it would sit on there. But I thought it'd look a lot nicer if I made some uh, dowels and stuck them in there. Gave it a little wider. Uh, so it's not quite as uh, tippy here. Anyway, I'm gonna the rest of this video. I'll just include a, a couple shots uh, of uh, making. I think I've got a one of making the sleeve there on the lathe. That's always nice to see the chips fly. So just a little bit, uh, a couple more things on this, and uh, and I'll be done. Anyway, hope you enjoy this. Uh, little uh, project here and give, maybe give you some ideas to make one for your wife or friends that do a lot of knitting. I think this is uh, uh, quite a nice uh, uh, version of the uh, knitting bowl. Okay, this is just a quick demonstration of the uh, boring attachment that I uh, 
made on this uh, lathe. I'm uh, boring a two inch hole. Uh, normally I can't get enough uh, leverage with this, so I've made this device here, which works with a handle. You get a little better, closer, well, anyway, I can show you another picture of that. Okay, so let's get started here. And I'm using uh, air pressure to blow the chips out there. Okay, I wanted to show you uh, my super nifty difty sanding thing for sanding the inside of a hollow form. This happens to be a tube that I'm making for a, a knitting bowl. But what I've got here is uh, just a, a round disc mounted on a, a dowel. And then the end of the dowel is uh, got a slot in it. And of course, as you can see, this is slotted here. And then to lock it in place, I just turn it. And then I put a piece of foam here and uh, just a strip of uh, belt type uh, sandpaper and secured it with a screw over here. And that way you can reach inside it. It's got some a little bit of softness here and uh, it seems to work quite well. It's easy to change and quickly start. And that's all there is to it. Uh, very simple, easy to make, gives you a way to hold the sandpaper and uh, do a fairly good job inside.